Congratulations to the 40th graduating class of the Adult Learning Center and especially to my care students. It's not how you start but how you finish that counts. So it's time to celebrate a well-deserved finish. Congratulations! Congratulations, graduating class of 2020. You have endured a school year unlike any other, and yet here you stand. Transitioning from online learning during a pandemic did not deter you from your goals. This adaptability is a skill that will serve you for the rest of your lives. This will forever be a historic moment in your timeline, and it is made all the more special by your accomplishments. I am so proud of you and I cannot wait to see where your curiosity and determination will take you. Felicidades clase 2020. Estoy muy orgullosa de ustedes y espero que ustedes estén orgullosos de lo que han logrado, porque sé que lo han conseguido con esfuerzo, dedicación y sacrificio. Este es el primer paso. Sigan aprendiendo, porque la educación es la clave para un mejor futuro. Todo lo que vale la pena se consigue con tiempo y esfuerzo y ustedes lo han logrado. Espero que disfruten de su mérito. Congratulations, class of 2020. daytime high school equivalency diploma teachers. I'm Lynn. I'm Denise. I'm Lynn. It doesn't take magic to get your high school diploma. It's not a game to get your high school diploma. It takes hard work and study to get that diploma. We are so proud of our 31 graduates from our daytime class. We loved working with you. We already miss you. We wish you the best of luck in the future. We are so proud of you and so happy for you. Yay! Yay! Congratulations, class of 2020.
Congratulations, you did it! Not only are you part of the graduating class of 2020, but you are also part of the 40th graduating class at the New Brunswick Adult Learning Center. You have come so far, so please don't stop now. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams, live the life that you've always imagined, and never settle for anything less. Public Schools is a thriving, vibrant, and diverse school district located in one of New Jersey's most historic communities, a thriving college town that has been home to Rutgers University for nearly 250 years. New Brunswick's population is nearly 60,000, and its school district enrolls more than 10,000 students from preschool through grade 12. The overall goal for New Brunswick Public Schools has been to provide each and every student the opportunity to graduate and pursue the career or higher educational experience of their choice. The overarching vision for New Brunswick Public Schools is to prepare, empower, and inspire lifelong learners and leaders. We aim to ensure that our students become engaged in their own learning, their environments, and the world. Students will develop their creative problem solving and critical thinking skills to innovate solutions to complex challenges. We aim to provide rigorous academic programs and strive for personalized learning and thematic concepts. We invest in our staff, intentionally engage the community, and subscribe to a lifestyle of health and wellness. The district's curriculum is comprehensive and research-based, encouraging students to become accountable to a lifelong journey of learning and leading. Through integrating complementary technology, relevant text, and comprehensive fine visual and performing arts programs, students and staff are empowered with the tools and skills necessary to thrive in a rapidly evolving world. We are transforming our schools into places where educators are empowered and students own their learning. We offer the tools needed to support a personalized approach to education. Personalized learning is my freedom to navigate my own course of learning, the ability to make choices for myself and empower my future. New Brunswick Public Schools has nearly 2,000 certified teachers and professional support staff members serving the needs of 13 schools. Specifically, there are nine neighborhood elementary schools, a middle school, New Brunswick High School, which features four themed career institutes and two preparatory academies, 
and the Health Sciences Technology High School for students interested in eventually pursuing healthcare careers. In addition, an adult learning center provides an education to more than 4,000 graduates, and New Brunswick P-Tech is home to our world's future engineers. We help our students get ready for college and their careers by encouraging them to find their passion. New Brunswick Public Schools offers more educational choices to students through our theme-based school focused on health science, the arts, STEM, and environmental science. We offer many extracurricular opportunities to help students develop beyond the classroom through our athletic programs and before and after school programs. Students are also exposed to rich and diverse learning experiences through all of our outstanding partnerships. The district is proud to partner with renowned organizations and institutions that provide students with opportunities to learn more about the sciences, the arts, and their place in this world. Through a partnership with the School Development Authority, we have updated many of our facilities to meet the growing needs of our students. In New Brunswick Public Schools, we educate the whole child by focusing on the intellectual, social, and emotional development. Students and teachers are creative and collaborative in action. We are the leaders of tomorrow! Hi, I'm U.S. Senator Cory Booker from the great state, our great state, of New Jersey. It is such an honor to give a few words to the graduates, but first to everyone in the high school who worked so hard, from teachers and staff to administration and even those people who worked in the lunchrooms or did the custodial services, everybody worked together to make this day possible. And the graduates, your, your guts, your grit, your hard work and your sacrifice that is all to be congratulated and celebrated. I'm truly proud of you. You collectively have made us even more so Jersey strong. So class of 2020, this is not the graduation experience that you wanted or you invited. And I've learned in my life that in many ways you can't control circumstances. You can't control what happens to you, but you can control your response. This great author named Viktor Frankl who wrote a book about surviving the Holocaust and he said that the last of the great human freedoms is to choose your attitude in any given set of circumstances and he says there's always a choice every day every hour he says you're offered a decision that between stimulus and response that's your power it's a decision he wrote that's going to determine whether you submit to the powers around you which threaten to rob you of your dignity and your worth, or do you manifest that great freedom that can never be stripped from you, which is to show up? To me, that is a challenge. Life is not about a destination. It's where you are every day, what you're bringing, what spirit do you choose to bring into the world? Look, when Hurricane Sandy was coming in, I was the mayor of New Jersey's largest city, the mayor of Newark, and I was out in the storm just as it was impacting, surveying the whole city, driving around as best I could in a command vehicle being blown from side to side. And I'll never forget, I get this call. It always starts with a funny question. It's an operator that says, hello, this is the White House operator. Would you hold for the President of the United States? And it's always funny to me because who says no to that? And I go, yes. And next thing you know, I'm talking to Barack Obama who is checking in on me. It was an incredible conversation connecting as a storm is hitting the coast of the United States of America. This president was checking in on a mayor. We had a good conversation. As soon as I hang up on him, almost as if it was timed, my cell phone rings again and now it's the governor of the state of New Jersey, Chris Christie. Again, a, a moment of human contact. He was checking in on me and the city of Newark. We had another good heartfelt conversation and as soon as I hung up with him, amazed that I had just talked to the President of the United States and the Governor of the State of New Jersey. I'm coming up a hill and there in the wind and the rain I see these telephone poles that come down, live wires, and then I make out a guy standing out there in a yellow slicker with a floodlight waving frantically. I was, I was surprised and almost a little upset that somebody would be out in this storm and not home and I rolled up on him, rolled down the window and immediately saw it was an elderly man and I said to him, what are you doing out here, sir? And he looks at me almost bothered by the question. He goes, there are live telephone wires, live wires all over 
I'm here because I'm going to make sure that none of my neighbors or nobody comes along these wires and gets hurt. In that moment, I realized, uh, 15 minutes I had talked to the President of the United States, the Governor of the State of New Jersey, heck, I was the Mayor of the city. But the greatest person in that 15 minutes that I talked to was the man on the hill showing up, standing strong in a storm for others that he didn't even know. He didn't control the circumstances, he didn't control the size and strength of that storm, but he defined a truth that is so powerful that the greatest of all human energies you can show up with, you can choose, is kindness, is decency, and love. And often people think love is sentimentality. No, it's service, sacrifice, it's being there for others. Class of 2020, you are going to go on and do amazing things. Attend, achieve great positions, titles in your life, but those will never define who you are. You do daily. Life is not about a destination. It's what you bring to the journey. And I hope you bring your power, your power of love. That's what this world needs right now. It needs light workers in darkness. It needs kindness in a time of too much meanness. It needs unifiers in a time of too much division. And that's not seen best in the grand acts and the grand gestures, but the daily decisions we make. Don't underestimate your power. Use it every day to make a difference in this world that so needs you. Thank you, Class of 2020, and God bless you. Congratulations to the 40th graduating class of the New Brunswick Adult Learning Center. I'm Judy Kesson Faraday. As principal for the first 25 graduations of your school, I'm honored and proud to be with you today. Hopefully, reaching this important milestone will move you closer to realizing your dreams for your family and your community. I wish you continued success and encourage you to strive to make a difference in the world. Oh yes, please don't forget to vote.
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening and welcome to the New Brunswick Adult Learning Center's 40th graduation ceremony. My name is Tim Timmerich. I am the principal of the ALC. I would like to start out thanking our wonderful staff, Superintendent Dr. Aubrey Johnson and his team, School Board President Diana Solis, and the school board members, and Mayor Jim Cahill for the support of our programs and their belief in lifelong learning. In previous years, we would have four of our graduates, one from each program, speak at graduation. Their speeches were emotionally packed with descriptions of the numerous obstacles that they had to overcome to be standing on the stage on graduation night. Each story resonated with us, inspired us, and brought us close to tears. Similar stories could be told by our current graduates who have faced similar challenges. Each story would be unique, special, and emotional. What is different about this year is we share two historic worldwide events to include in the narratives of the class of 2020. The COVID-19 pandemic and the protesting of systematic institutional racism and social injustice. The COVID-19 pandemic has made us feel sad, frustrated, and anxious. I cares we have a student not here tonight who was sick for six weeks and had three family members pass away from the coronavirus. Where is the fairness? The killing of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and many, many others has made us sad, frustrated, and angry. I cannot talk about how African Americans and Latinos feel about the years of explicit and implicit racism they have experienced, because I have not experienced it. But I have seen it, read about it, and I can try to imagine it. I reflect back on my 27 years as an administrator, and I can remember many years ago suspending a student for wearing a hat. Not that the hat was the only issue, but I am sure I did not listen or hear what the student had to say. I've personally come a long way in my growth as an educator. I've learned that listening, hearing, and understanding my students' point of view, learning about their families, their culture, and their experience helps me to know my students. Now I am always looking for positive outcomes. I'm looking for ways that all can be successful. My challenge to you is twofold. Continue to pursue your education and impress on your children the importance of a good education and that you should not be silent about the injustices you face. Be active, say something, do something. It is time for all of us to listen, to hear, and to try to understand. All people together, we can be one family, one community. We can be the change that is needed. Congratulations and God bless. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. To say this academic year was one that will be remembered would certainly be an understatement. You have managed to overcome the complete closure of schools statewide in response to the coronavirus outbreak and completed your studies remotely. Your kitchen became the school cafeteria you transformed a room in your home into your home room. You navigated your way through a global pandemic that the world hasn't seen in a century, yet you remain determined and focused to complete the mission at hand. Our high school saw the cancellation of prom season and all spring sports, while our adult learning students successfully juggled the challenges of remote learning with their everyday responsibilities. Despite the many obstacles, the time to celebrate the landmark achievement of your graduation is here. It's when you shift your focus to your future and the opportunities that await you. This is what you've strived for, the culmination of your hard work, endless study, and fierce dedication to achievement and advancement all converge right here, right now. This may not be a customary graduation ceremony, but it is forever your time in the spotlight. You've earned the right to take part in this important transition. Now revel in the moment, embrace your future, no matter where it takes you. 
Congratulations on all that you've done and all that you will do. Best wishes to each and every one of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Greetings to the graduating class of 2020. I know we will always remember this year, whether it's 20, 30, 40, or even 50 years from now, the question will always be, where were you and what were you doing in the year 2020? You don't need me to tell you what a challenging year this has been. And it has been difficult in ways we have never seen before, with no roadmap telling specifically what to do and how to proceed. Not long ago, as recently as Thanksgiving in November, we had never even heard of the term coronavirus. But just four months later, sometime in March, it forced all our school buildings to shut down. The unforeseen challenges caused by the coronavirus has taken a significant toll on people around the world. And ever since, we, students, families, teachers, staff, and administrators, we have persevered and found a way to communicate and learn as we engage in various aspects of virtual learning. Then in May, we were all shocked by the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis. Most of us have since seen that video, which triggers feelings of anger, fear, sadness, and confusion. Within a day, protest marches were taking place across this country and world, and we all began learning more about social justice and the fight for equal access to wealth, opportunities, and privileges within our society. Despite almost being half over, the year 2020 already is among the most challenging years in living memory. And I suspect many people are wondering how much more can we possibly take? But you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. There are valuable life lessons to be taken from this very strange and difficult year. The first is that we all need to keep in mind is that our road through life will rarely be smooth whether in our personal lives or careers. Problems have a way of arising quite often when we're completely unaware. So I advise you to plan ahead, even if in your head, map out a course of action on how you're gonna to continue to move forward. You wanna know where you're headed before you get there and never let your guard down. We need to remain vigilant so when challenges do appear, we're fully prepared to face them. And this brings us to another key lesson we can learn from the year 2020, that we can indeed overcome. Look at the difficulties you have faced since March. One day, quite suddenly, out of the blue, your school was closed and you had to complete your high school education in quarantine via a computer screen. It was a significant challenge that you found a way to manage, to adjust, to adapt, and do what was necessary to earn your diploma. And as I speak to you today, I applaud each and every one of you for earning that diploma. You succeeded by never giving in. So the next time you're confronted by serious difficulty, you'll be able to look back on your year 2020, and remind yourself that you've faced hard times before. And despite some serious hurdles, you persevered and succeeded. This, I suppose, may always be the mark of the 2020 graduate. I imagine that whenever the subject of a particular 2020 New Brunswick High School graduate comes up, I'll say, wow, 2020, that was a crazy year. And that was a special group of students who persevered. They're a testament to planning ahead, working hard, and never giving up. They made it. Each and every one of you has the ability to transform the world that you your family, and your friends live in. I encourage you to work hard, be bold, and do truly exceptional things. I congratulate you. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Good evening, I'm Dr. Thomas Crane, the Vice Principal. Thank you for joining us in celebrating the class of 2020. Established in 1980, the Adult Learning Center is a New Brunswick public school that continues the district's mission to prepare, empower, and inspire the adults and youth of the New Brunswick community to become lifelong learners and leaders. Students come to our school to develop their academic skills and workplace readiness skills, to learn English as a second language, to become United States citizens, and for a second chance to obtain a high school diploma. 
Class of 2020 adult education students and New Jersey Youth Corps students will be receiving New Jersey High School Diplomas. CARES, Creating Alternative Routes to Educational Success. Students will be receiving New Brunswick High School Diplomas. Congratulations to the Class of 2020, our 40th graduating class. This is Solis. It is both my responsibility and my pleasure to present the New Brunswick Public Schools Adult Learning Center Class of 2020 and to certify that each student sitting before you tonight has met the requirements for receiving their high school diploma. On behalf of the New Brunswick Board of Education, I accept the recommendation of the New Brunswick Public Schools Adult High School and Adult Learning Center and direct that the members of the class of 2020 be awarded their diplomas. Congratulations. Eric Afria, Tatiana Alexander, Tyler Alimo, Alan Antillen, Elsa Alvarado, Rosy Vergas Alvarez, Guillermo Amaya Hernandez, Isai. Aparicio Jimenez, Rafael Baragan Ruiz, Paulino Blanca Gonzalez, Humaria Barbary, Don Badsha, Anthony Bajek, Naya Best. Sumaya Bint Davila, Austin Blake, Alex Camarillo, Melissa Carroll, Jacqueline Cassiano, Evelyn Castro Contreras, William Cerda. Via Lobos, Anderson Cifuentes Marroquín, Gustavo Cleofas Oliveira, Michelle Cruz, Byron Kupsum Temu, Diana Davila Romero. Jonathan De Bros, Shirley De La Cruz, Giovanni De Leon Fernandez, Brianna De Paz, Gabriel De Sousa Zeno, Shalini Devi. Michelle Diaz Carvajal, Erica Diaz Saldana, Joel Dominguez Talavera, Carla Elias, Robert Earhart, Jacqueline Espinosa. Cruz, Evelyn Figueroa Rosales de Alvarez, Carla Galeana Avila, Adrián García, Jesús García, Gerardo García. Garcia, Alberto Garcia Hernandez, Jelun Geno, 
Rodemy Gomez, Jenny Gomez Munoz, Reed Guerra Alvarado, Maria Gutierrez Pacheco, Jenny Gomez Munoz, Jose Guzman Delgado, Nathaniel Hall Jr. Lorena Hansolis Bashkar Harilal Jessica Hernandez Jomaris Hernandez Celia Hernandez Abrigo Kevin Hernandez Guzman Ashley Hernandez Herrera Davis Hernandez Belais Jennifer Hernandez Rivera Jacqueline Iracheta Amir Ismemetov Adrian Jimenez Jose Jimenez Garcia Mackenzie Johnson Sonia Johnson Kenny Leon Tenorio Kevin Lewis Cesar Lopez de la Luz Sergio Lopez Nieto Destiny Mack Ingris Marmo de Diaz Jurgen Martinez Montiel Kelby Martinez Castro Wendy Martinez Rivas Tracy McDaniel Kimberly Mercado Melga Franklin Mo, Jaime Montoya, Elvis Morales Montes, Eduardo Morales Montes, Georgiana Moya Rojas, and Muigai, Shirley Nazario. Gomez, Victor Noel, Yosibel Olmedo Solano, Abigail Pereira, Carlos Perez, Jose Perez Garcia, Vanessa Perez. Bautista Ana Pozos Lois Rieve Florimon Roberta Cuarte Papafio Chedira Quevedo Morga Omar Quintero de Jesús Eminem Ramirez de Jesús Maribel Ramos Bravo Patsy Richardson Leslie Rivas Rodriguez Joanna Rivera Justin Rivera Rosani Rodriguez Buceta Pedro Rojas Randy Rojas Lorenzo Rosalia Rosas Aguilar Jacob Rosenberg Catherine 
Saavedra Lorenzo, Giselle Saavedra Lucero, Maritza Sainz Lopez, Monique Saint Flor, Elizabeth Salazar Guerrero, Azayani Salgado, Kevin Salmeron, Susana Sanchez Lopez, Enma Sanchez Torres, Cerilia Sandy, Matthew Saucier, Kiwan Seawright, Ama Kobe Seal, Amy Solano, Abigail Somarribas, Jahira Sosa, Anaya Stevens, William Sullivan Jr., Marielis Taveras, Daniel Debocha Rojas, Josue Torres, Victor Ugueto Carrasco, Samantha Valdez, Lourdes Vasquez Aparicio, David Vega, Gabriela Vega, Vanessa Wallace, Christopher Watsi, Nia Williams, Jillian Yolano, Brian Zamora Moctezuma, On behalf of the New Brunswick Adult Learning Center, we thank you for attending the Class of 2020 Virtual Graduation Ceremony. We wish all of our graduates a bright future. You will always be a part of our hearts. Congratulations.